These days, knowing our personality type can be very helpful in our lives. Being able to connect with the right people for our personality type or work in the right place makes life more enjoyable for us. If you didn't already know, INTJ stands for Introverted, Intuitive, Thinking, and Judging. They get energy from being alone and are introverted. They don't only focus on facts, however, they also focus on ideas. INTJs make decisions based on their logic and attach great importance to planning. They solve analytical problems and are always interested in improving systems with their new ideas. They constantly see the potential for improvement around them. INTJs are generally intelligent and enjoy analyzing issues. They are attracted to logical systems and can feel less comfortable with emotional people. They are independent in their relationships and they are always attracted to people who stimulate them intellectually. Because of all of that, it can come across that INTJs try to manipulate people into doing what they want. But is this actually what is going on? Today we're going to take a look into whether or not INTJs are masters at manipulation. Let's get into it. Welcome to Success for Breakfast, where I'm serving up brain food made simple. Hit that subscribe button to get daily videos created to give you the tools to level up your life. INTJs assess thousands of probabilities before each decision. It can be said that an INTJ knows, even before they know, why they know something. INTJs don't like to hear lies and they don't like to be deceived or misled. However, deception of an INTJ takes a lot of effort and a lot of time, which is why it doesn't happen very often. The thing about INTJs is that their emotions are introverted and inferior and they are not used much. So when someone wants to try to play with their emotions, an INTJ will quickly notice. INTJs can easily respond to the wishes of other people according to their own logic, but the fear of upsetting others is not important to them. INTJs have to go through a lot of hard work to be able to identify their feelings as well as the connection between their feelings and their decisions. People with this personality type are called architects because they have the power of analysis as well as creativity and logic. Because INTJs base their decisions on facts and systems and don't try to appease everyone else or go with the crowd, INTJs are often considered master manipulators. Although they don't need to manipulate emotionally, they do often try to impress upon people to get things done in a certain way. INTJs always care about the reasons and facts that are known, which is their most powerful tool. When INTJs seek to produce a particular result, they may use specific manipulation tactics to achieve its goal. For an INTJ, this is not a manipulation, especially when the results are in everyone's best interest. They make strategic plans for what is going to happen and do everything they can to make sure it happens. INTJs are not inherently immoral, although there are unhealthy versions always present in every personality type group. INTJs have strong morals and certain inner beliefs, and therefore they are always trying to add a positive point to the world. If INTJs use certain tactics to get the best result, those tactics, whatever they may be, are still not wrong or immoral or trying to be manipulative necessarily. If INTJs want to manipulate someone to do something, make no mistake, they can, but this isn't the goal for an INTJ. The goal is for accomplishment in the most efficient and effective way possible. If you've gotten some value from this video so far, please show your appreciation and hit that like button. That signals YouTube that you think other people could benefit from this video too. INTJs like to plan and formulate a strategy and make sure they do their job the best. They have a need to achieve their goals and help others achieve their goals. When INTJs work with other people, they sometimes feel they have to manipulate them to get the job done right, especially when it is in their best interest. This goes back to issues of logic that they think should convince people to follow a certain path. Remember, an INTJ has already gone over every aspect in their minds a thousand times and have already figured out the best course of action. INTJs can easily convince people that they are right about things. They often have a lot of information about most things and can memorize details. This ability helps them to give many compelling reasons for their opinions. When they do this, it can come across like they are trying to trick or confuse other people. However, INTJs use this as a useful way to prove they are right. 
Having this information and their sense of trust in knowing it can be a great feature for manipulating people and the environment so that they can easily control the results. Although not all of this means that they are trying to manipulate negatively. The unhealthy group of this personality type of people may try to though. Keep in mind, there are unhealthy people in every group and they are generally poisonous people who are hard to deal with. One of the reasons for recognizing personality types based on their healthy versions is important to be able to recognize the unhealthy ones. Insecure and unhealthy INTJs manipulate in the hopes that it can transmit feelings of insecurity to others. In this way, they inflict emotional blows on different people and can cause those people to feel insecure. Do not try to manipulate an INTJ because you will most likely fail. Being introverted, they protect themselves from the outside world and their priority is always to achieve their goals. INTJs are always fully aware that you want to manipulate them. They are constantly investigating your claim and trying to find holes in it. And when they do, you will be one of many who have failed to manipulate an INTJ. So don't even try to bother with an INTJ. You can be almost sure that no manipulation will work on them. INTJs can identify who wants to manipulate them because they are inherently focused on their own logic, facts, and intuition. Anyone who tries to use emotion to manipulate an INTJ fail miserably. They don't use emotions to make their decisions. So when someone tries to seduce or manipulate them in this way, they will quickly realize it, call them out, and stay away from that person. If you are trying to manipulate an INTJ, you are in for a treat. They always have several alternative plans that they have ready to go. If plan A doesn't work, they will use plan B, and if it doesn't work, they will go to plan C. If someone uses facts to get INTJs to do something, it still takes a lot of reason and logic to convince them. In these cases, however, INTJs will notice people trying to manipulate the situation, but they move in the direction of their own decisions because the plan seems logical. Some people are more prone to manipulation than others. This trait is not so much related to the specific personality type of different people, but it is the methods in which that person can try to manipulate others. Different personality types have their own ways of positioning themselves to achieve their desired result. However, INTJ manipulation methods may seem unnecessary, unless there is a compelling reason and a specific and useful purpose that is convincing to do so. So is it really manipulation if they are just trying to get the best result in the most effective and efficient way to benefit everyone? Leave a comment and let me know. You've got this, now go get it done. Grab yourself some more brain food to help you level up your life and click on one of the videos on your screen right now.